What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the Order's Wrath set, which will be a new craftable set coming to the Elder Scrolls Online in the High Isles chapter. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description. The community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. Also check out the merch store that is linked in the description as well. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate if you go ahead and hit that like button. It helps me out a lot here on the channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that sub button as well. Now, when it comes to crafted sets in the Elder Scrolls Online, we've had some in the past that have been really good. Probably the most recent memory would have been Diamond's Victory. Of course, it has been nerfed several times since it was released. But Diamond's Victory was a set that a lot of people were using. It was close to being one of the better sets in the game. It wasn't something you had to go out and farm. It wasn't something you had to go play Trials or Dungeons for. You actually could craft it, and it was very, very viable. It was a very strong set. Of course, that has been nerfed several times since it was released. But when we're looking at the new Order's Wrath set, I think this is going to be a set that a lot of people will use. Now, will it be meta? Probably not. But if you're a person that has really good rotation and you don't mind losing, you know, 7 or 8% of that max damage you could get with a meta set, I think this is going to be a very reviable set that you can still get a lot of damage out of. When it comes to what the Order's Wrath set does, we're looking at a two-piece bonus of 657 crit chance, a three-piece item bonus of 129 weapon and spell damage, which of course is kind of going once again with that hybrid idea of all builds being able to be, you know, really mixing stamina and magic stuff kind of in one particular build instead of having, you know, just a stamina class or a magic class. We have a four-piece uh, bonus of 657 crit chance and a five-piece bonus of 943 crit chance, but also increases your critical damage and critical healing by 8%. And that is where I think this uh, set will really shine. A lot of people are comparing this to Mother Sorrow, saying it's going to be better than Mother Sorrow. If we take a look at Mother Sorrow, its two-piece set is uh, 1,096 max magic. Three and four-piece item bonus is 657 crit chance, and its five-piece item bonus is 1,528 crit chance. Now, Order's Wrath does not have that big 1500 crit chance at you know the five piece item bonus but that increased your critical damage and critical healing by eight percent i think in the end in theory once it's you know tested and a lot of people have tried it out it's probably going to pull a little bit more damage than mother sorrow and that is also if they do not decide to adjust it before the public test server is over this is a set that i think is going to be very good and i had not heard a lot of people talking about this until just a few days ago, I saw Hack the Minotaur had made a video about it. Of course, I play here on console, so some things, you know, I miss out on. Of course, I'm not playing in the public test server. He made this video kind of explaining exactly, you know, how he how he was looking at the set, kind of how he would think it would work in game. And of course, if you've never checked out Hack's channel, he's a great source for all Elder Scrolls content. So I'm definitely going to give him a shout out. But when I saw that video, it kind of got me to thinking. This may be something that is really useful going forward for players that may not have Metagear, players that may just have hit 160 CP and they're wanting something really good to run. You can get a friend to craft this. You can craft it yourself if you have the ability to, if you have all the traits learned, you know, if you have all the traits and things, if you're able to learn all that and have all your crafting done. Uh, if you have a guild member that could craft, they, they could get, you could get them, excuse me, to craft this for you. I think in the long run, it will be a very viable set as long as it stays like it is now. Like I said, it, it is in the public test server. There could be changes made to it. But as of right now, like I said, in theory, looking at it on paper, it looks like a, a set that may outperform Mother Sorrow. And Mother Sorrow is something that a lot of players run. There's a lot of in-game players that may not be going for score pushing or trifecta runs, whatever the case may be. They like to play in-game trials and things like that. You know, play with more casual style groups to just enjoy playing, getting it, getting it done, not worried about, you know, how well they do or how much damage they do. You know, as long as they get it done in the group and they have a good time, that's kind of what they like. There's a lot of people that run Mother Sorrow and stuff like that. And I think the Order's Wrath set could be another set that could kind of fall in that kind of same criteria. Because it looks like the Order's Wrath set may outperform Mother Sorrow in the end. And I'm really interested to see how it's going to work with that 8% crit damage and 8 percent crit healing bonus on that five percent or five piece set excuse me and i'm definitely going to give this a look when it comes to console now if there are some changes to it when it comes out of the public test server or if they update it in the next couple weeks inside of the public test server i'll make a separate video about that but like i said if it comes out of the public test server kind of unscathed compared to what it is right now i think this will be a, a set that a lot of you may want to keep your eye on anyway guys let me comment your thoughts and of course if you like the video hit the like if you haven't subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time peace